Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shailene and today we are going to discuss the worst books that I read in 2019. Now there's quite a big list. I mean it's not huge but there are quite a few books on here that I am going to discuss today that I hated, <laughs> to put it lightly. first one is actually a book that my sister recommended for me to read. I really did not like it. Uh, so this is I Am the Messenger by Marcus Zusak, and one of the biggest reasons why I hated this book was one of the main characters, Ed, and the way that he viewed his best friend, Audrey. Ed believed that Audrey should be with him and that all of her boyfriends were terrible and that's why all her relationships were failing. He believed that Ed and Audrey should be together. It was just gross, it was cringy and yeah, just some of the stuff that Ed said about Audrey was disgusting. And yeah, he believed that he deserved to be with Audrey, that he deserved to, you know, have intimate relations with her <laughs> and it was it was a no. The rest of the book though was okay. There were some really funny bits that I enjoyed. The story with all the little deeds that Ed did to help people were okay but it just it was just weird. Like there's really nothing about this book that I loved. Uh, I just really didn't like it. In the end I ended up giving this one a two stars. It just, it definitely was not a favorite book of the year. <laughs> Next, I read Sometimes I Lie by Alice Feeney. This book is a thriller mystery. It follows a trope that I really, really dislike. And it's the trope of having a female main character who has some family issues, relationship issues. She is either an alcoholic or a drug addict and they become an unreliable witness or, you know, it's sort of all those stereotype mishmash that is in this book and this is why I hate it. For much of the novel, we are following this woman through her boring work life and it was dull. Um, the only thing that kept me engaged were the diary entries that were from her childhood with this here mystery and th there is some good twists and turns in this but I think overall those twists and turns just became ridiculous and just it was like what the heck <laughs> you know it was just it was kind of nonsensical really and yeah it just wasn't really realistic it was just awful the writing itself isn't too bad i would read the author's other book that she has out but yeah i mean this was this was a two star it was it was super short so i read this in like a day but again it was just it wasn't that fun to read it was just forcing myself to read it kind of thing so yeah not that great. So the next book I read that I also hate it is also a mystery except this one is uh, by Agatha Christie. So I read Murder on the Orient Express. Uh, this is a Hercule Poirot mystery. I watched the movie. I love the movie. I've seen the TV show. I really like the TV show. Reading Hercule Poirot like in books on paper, he comes across as the most arrogant, pompous, a-hole I've ever read about and he is utterly insufferable. Some of the conclusions that he draws just comes out of thin air and like how? Uh, yeah, I am so disappointed about this because I was so looking forward to reading much more from this series but if I can't stand the main character I'm not gonna put myself to the torture of reading other books in the series so yeah, I am super disappointed. I'm super heartbroken that I didn't love this and I hate her given Um So yeah, I mean the overall mystery in this book was really good and I do like it for the mystery aspect but just the main character is insufferable. So yeah, it is a two stars and probably one of the books that I'm most disappointed about that I read this year. The next book I read is The Paris Secret by Lily Graham. Now I picked this up 
uh, on ebook for like super cheap. I read the reviews and all of the reviews said, oh, this is such a great book, it's wonderful, blah, 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 five stars. Those people must have been on something because this was literally the worst book of the year I read and the only book that I've rated one star. This is like Hallmark level of cheesiness and terribleness. It was an utter disaster. We're following two different timelines. We're following a timeline set in World War II. We're also following a timeline set in the 60s. Valerie is the daughter of a woman who we're following the timeline of in World War II Paris. So Valerie is basically an orphan. She discovers she has a grandfather. Her aunt claims that her grandfather didn't want her. So she sees an ad in the newspaper for the bookstore that her grandfather owns and runs. She puts in her resume. She gets the job. She goes to Paris under false pretenses, not saying that she's, you know, his granddaughter. And she ends up working for her grandfather. He's grumpy. He's, you know, a French old man who's grumpy all the time. And yeah, so basically she learns about her mother's. She meets her mother's best friend when, you know, they were girls. Um, also her best friend Freddie comes into Paris and town and they hang out and they got secret feelings for each other and blah blah blah. <sighs> and then Valerie finds out information on her mother and also her father. She discovers that I'm, I'm just spoiling it all because it's awful. You don't want to read this book. <laughs> Basically she discovers that her father was a Nazi. But oh no, he's not just any Nazi. He's a good Nazi. <laughs> Which, in terms of historical fiction tropes, in my opinion, this is one of the worst tropes. I hate this trope. It's just disgusting. It was it was pretty terrible. Uh, the secrets uncovered are pretty mediocre, like, and just make me want to gag. So, not only is the storyline terrible, but the writing was atrocious. Oh my god, I am not like the best at grammar and writing and all that stuff. But I could even pick out grammar and spelling mistakes in this book. Like, it was that terrible. Why did I not DNF this book? I have literally no idea. It was awful. So, yeah. Uh, one star, like I said before. It was literally the worst book that I read this year. Okay, uh, and the next book I read was The Selection by HeroCast. Now, I read this book knowing that I wasn't going to like it. This is a book that everybody trashes on on YouTube and I just, I needed to read it to see what exactly it was about. Obviously going into this I knew it was going to be bad. I made a whole vlog on it, reading it, because I mean, everybody says these books are terrible. So I knew it was not going to be a favorite book of mine. And they're just fun to trash on. Think of that what you will, but these are fun books to read, just to trash on. But oh man, one of the things I hated most about this is that not only is the plot just awful, you just have, you know, the love triangle thing going on, you have uh, this, you know, dystopian world happening in America, and the girl is a singer, and she's literally named America Singer. It is the most, like, that is the worst character name ever. Like, ever. It was, it was awful. So yeah, it's just, this book is just little riddled with cliches and tropes and nothing happens. Like you're following a bunch of girls who go to this castle to vie for this prince's affection. They're given makeovers and gowns and whatnot. I was expecting full on cat fights. Like I wanted cat fights to happen. We got none of that. Like there wasn't any female drama. It was just this girl talking to the prince and the prince slowly falling for her and blah blah blah. It was just, yeah, it was ridiculous. Um, and there's like five books in the series and I could tell that this author is really dragging this out. Like, I, you could have fit like two books in one book with this book alone. Like, it was just so dragged out. I don't know if I'm gonna continue with the series because there is so many books in the series and I know it's just gonna be tortured, but I just also love trashing on them <laughs> because they are fun to read. They are trashy reads and sometimes you need trashy reads with all the other, you know, really great books. Sometimes you just need a trash book to read. So I don't know if I'll be continuing with this, but I gave it a two star. It was pretty awful, but also <laughs> 
pretty hilarious to read. So the next book I read was another thriller that I ended up really hating because <laughs> it has that same trope that I really hate. So I read The Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn. So not only is this author a terrible piece of crap, I mean he literally is a psychological, psychopathical, whatever you want to call him, he's a liar. He lied about having multiple illnesses. He lied about having cancer, brain tumors. He lied about his parents being dead. Like everything you can imagine this guy has lied about. Like it's pretty terrible. So yeah, I'm happy that I bought this at the thrift store so I didn't have to give my money to that crap human being. So yeah, I mean, I was apprehensive already going to this novel because it does have a trope that I really hate, which just made me hate the book even more. So the way this book is written, you fly through it. Like the chapters are so short, which I love in books. I love short chapters because you just fly through them. So yeah, you're basically following a girl who buys out of windows. She sees something that she shouldn't have seen. She's an alcoholic, a drug addict, and yeah, she has all these crazy mental health problems going on. She sees something she shouldn't see. She becomes an unreliable witness, and yeah, some stuff happened that are pretty predictable. Like. You guys know that I watch a lot of thriller shows, so I saw the twist in this coming from a mile away. I mean, you have a cast of characters that's pretty limited. You know that something, somebody is behind all this, and yeah. So it's just because this is littered with tropes, I can't understand how this book is so popular. Like this book, people were raving about this a few years ago, how amazing it was. This is even being turned into a movie. I don't know if I'm even gonna watch the movie because I just feel like it's gonna be like every other thriller movie they made from every other book. Like it's gonna be so similar to The Girl on the Train, Gone Girl, like yeah. Uh, it was just predictable and honestly this was so forgettable. It was a two star. It was just, yeah, I, why did I waste my time with this? <laughs> and the last book that I read that I really hate is uh, The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. So I already talked about this in my DNF of 2018 video. Yeah, I read 100 pages of this and just couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> so basically you're following the same sort of trope. You have a woman who has family issues, she's an alcoholic, she witnesses a murder, and is an unreliable witness. So you're basically following two women and their diary entries or journal entries and oh my god it's just so mundane and boring it's so boring so yeah I dean up this at 30% there is like I, I skipped ahead to like halfway where you would expect some of it would pick up it didn't pick up it was still boring and yeah so I just I dnf'd it and I rated it one star because this is awful I've actually seen the movie and I liked the movie like it's pretty good uh, but yeah, the book is just boring. <laughs> Thrillers are not meant to be boring. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I will leave links to my Instagram, my Goodreads, and my Twitter in the description below. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!